oftentimes we look back into it and be like, I, I don't want to say I wanted a billion dollars because that sounds so tacky. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wanted a billion dollars. I wanted to. <laughs> I think we, we, we get so caught up into this conversation of trying to appease and make people feel comfortable. And I think for me to stand true to my brand, I got to be rude. Yep. I'm Tom Ward, and over the last couple years, I've had the chance to sit down with some of the biggest celebrities and influencers in the world. What I've always found most fascinating is the stories of the businesses that they've built behind the scenes. On this show, you'll get an inside look of what it takes to build a successful business from some of the biggest celebrities, business people, and up-and-coming entrepreneurs in the world. This is The Tom Ward Show. Hey guys, welcome to the Tom Ward Show where we talk to the biggest entrepreneurs in the world. Today, we've got Ruigi, founder of Rude, uh, creative director at Bally, Creative Director of the Phoenix Coyotes. You got a lot going on. You got collabs with McLaren. You got Zara stuff going on. Right. We're at your Autumn Winter 2023 show. Right. Right. Do you get a chance to take a breath now and relax? No, I, I'm 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 a walking, I don't know, pecking, like what is that? A, a woodpecker. <laughs> yeah, I'm a walking wood woodpecker. I just keep going. You know, I, I think. You know, I got the resilience that I've had with since I was a kid when I moved to, to America. So I'm never going to stop. Yeah. You know, it's funny. That's exactly what I want to talk to you about. I look back. So I interviewed you four years ago. And yeah. at the time, you've got you've had so much going on since then, which we'll talk about. But at the time, you just made Forbes 30 under 30. Right. You had the Kendrick wave and then you had like the second wave of Rude. So you got right. money in your pocket. You're right. feeling good. Now, it would have been I was thinking about you. I go, it would have been real easy for you at the time to kind of kick back take your foot off the gas and you could have led a great life kind of did your creating there built the brand taking a slow rise you know mm -hmm. grow it nice and slow have millions of dollars have nice watches you know mm -hmm. live your life mm -hmm. but you didn't do that at all you went harder yeah where does that drive come from to even go i can't let up now i got to keep going i mean i think i've always had a larger vision of what i wanted to do prior to me starting the brand and this is just like the first chapter in my in my book so to say and I think I'm still on chapter one, you know, and I have many more to come. And I think I've always started with a larger vision on how to tell the story, create products and really create an experience and, and really have something interactive in, with my community and also expand the community. Community is huge. How do you. So, OK, so this person watching this, yeah. everybody wants to build a brand. Yeah. Everybody talks community. You know, right. everyone wants a streetwear brand or whatever they're into. Right. What was the story around Rude when you started? Like how. Was community even a thought or was it like, I want to put my vision on clothes? Well, look, as you proceed, the dreams get bigger, right? Sure. But, you know, I think for me in the beginning, it was just the the tangibles. It was for me to get a room, for me to get a bed, <laughs> for me to have, to be able to <laughs> contribute to bills, to be able to pay for, you know, my life, my daily needs in my lives. And as you keep, I tell this to my guys all the time, when I started the brand, all I wanted was a bed. Then you get a room, then you get a place. And when you get a place, you want to share the things and you know all those things so you mark your territories but have that that north star which is really the larger vision that i've always had but you know the north star is what's leading me to keep going but as i keep going i have these pillars and these benchmarks that i keep hitting you know yeah. it's so funny when you were when you were uh when i was looking at that and when you were just saying that it reminds me of that jay-z lyric i know you're you know your buddies with jay now but it reminds me that um can't knock the hustle line, making right. short term goals when, when the, the weather, weather falls. falls. Right. <laughs> but right. is that you? Is that you make it sounds like that's you, you know, making yes. those short term goals. I want a bed. I want, you know, a Gucci watch. I want whatever. Right. Right. Next thing. Do you still do that? Of course. It's so always day. been. Day, I still go back to the foundational root stuff. You know, I never want to lose my feet on the ground. I think most importantly, like I need to understand my purpose. A lot of people, a lot of times we lose our purpose with our, our, our journey. Right. So with me having the, the North Star be my goals, et cetera. It, it, and for me to keep now looking back isn't really one of my traits, but I keep forward. But I have my my moments where I have to rethink the purpose and really understand it. You know, what advice do you have for, you know, for younger people out there as far as do you look at it like, hey, short term, I got to get out. I need a bed. Yeah. But in two years, I want to have a brand. Like, do you look at it both ways, short exactly, term and long term? Exactly. There's no just. I mean, to be honest with you, I didn't even think about building a brand. I created a product, and there was a need for it in the market. I anticipated the the curve, so to say, you know, for for trend. And when you really take a step back, you understand the wheel. And as, as wheels go, you can anticipate how it flows, right? And you kind of insert yourself in there. But you know, the toughest thing is, you know. 
when building a brand and the thing is people finding their purpose you know i think oftentimes we get misled by outside noises rather than what we truly feel we're talented at you know like like really innately really be true to yourself about what you're talented in, not because you made a uh a, a paper a paper a paper trash in the thing 10 <laughs> times your friends are telling you you should go be an nba player <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what i mean like if you really love cooking then you gotta really dig deep into that that thing you know but I think more than more than ever, as I continue my journey and, and uh, all the things that I do, is being able to distinguish yourself from others is really the most important thing, you know. And individualism, you know, we all push it, et cetera. But I think more people need to really dig deep within the 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 sorrows and the struggles because that's the most relatable thing. Yeah, oh, not sure. many people know how, to, how it feels to win, but many people, I mean, I feel we all felt a loss, you know, it's one way or another. And you said some other, something else too, I read that you said, you've got to be uncomfortable to grow. Right. And I was thinking of your line, we'll talk closing a little bit, right? Right. But when I looked at, when I, I went, you know, I was on the website and I looked at the collection now and we'll talk about the collection we're going to see today. But, you still got those, you know, rude staple clothes. You know, you got the track suits, you got the shorts, the you know, t-shirts that kind of got you there. But then you've got loafers and you're you're getting into women's clothes and right. stuff too. Did that stuff make you uncomfortable at the time? Like, I'm gonna make of women's clothes. Like, I don't know about that. Like, of course. The, oh, I look at my clothes and they're perfectly imperfect. <laughs> what do you mean? I think I think it's important to have things. Human human mistake is so important right now. You know, I think everything is so so precise and so machine made and, and we lose the human mistake the humanity of this thing which to me is actually the most romantic thing and it keeps me to my my toes on the ground that i know that i have more to do when when i feel like the collection is perfect and spotless i will have finished the story mm -hmm. you know the, the book so to yeah speak. but every season i look at it i have edits i wish i did this i wish I did this so that's 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 human reason telling you like you still got more to do yeah but when you feel that you've completed it and it's done that's when i feel that journey's over you know and that's why i think mistakes are so important and uh, people are so afraid to do them and and, and land and want to land and commit right away when i started i produced 300 t-shirts and i counted the revenues prior to me getting the first sell <laughs> and in the end i was stuck with a box of 300 but 298, because one I wore, two I gave to my sister, you know? So <laughs> what's that say to you, yeah. right? So you know, even then with my brother being my beta test, I keep telling him, look, you want to change the world, you want to do this, you got to change yourself first, you know, like produce outcome for yourself first, and then you can start to think about the next person, the next person, the next person. You know, you look at social media too, and it's so true. Like, look at the rise of TikTok, right? right. People are tired of the Instagram model. Every post is perfect. The lighting's great in every shot. It's like, right. I want to see somebody with a camera at their kitchen table talking right. to right. me. Right. Just talking like a normal person. Rawness. 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 And is that the same thing? We did? Does that translate to fashion too? I, I think now uh, with, with fashion, so many things are so produced. It's big. It's massive there's global domination and in, in, in fashion <laughs> lots of money you're seeing fireworks etc you know it's good so i think you know you're gonna see a, a, a shift and it's up to the youth it's not up to me it's up to the youth i'm just here i think more more than ever as i travel and i see everything my, my job is really just to log in data what do you mean i'm a data logger of what people are interested in and what i and with a selfish tone of with a selfish beat underneath it <laughs> okay all right you know i'm just like writing down and reciting all the words that i hear from in closed form from people and add a couple of your own lines to it a couple of my own lines and with my beat that's all it is because when you see the clothes this to me is what young people are interested in what we once were interested in it's it's a, a tale of like the cycle continuing yeah mm -hmm. so what's what are we going to see down there like today so what you know can you because by the time this comes out it'll be um over it, it it's it's, to, it's a test it, it's to me it's my harvard what do you mean it's my harvard it's where i went to school it's okay. where my dreams were made of it's where my knowledge was built it's where my it's it's the north star that i keep talking about this is where i started like this is the foundational point of i think where a lot of like street culture comes from and you know this is where this is parking lot pimping this is where we 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 talk about the dreams and when i was younger this is where you know we even exchanged ideas of getting cars getting money getting 
you know, all these things that are, I think people step away from because it's not so romantic. But the truth is the reason why we do things is to live a better life. Sure, of course. And if you have a drive for it, whether you want diamonds or you want, you know, beautiful beds or you want just a beautiful meal, it's a drive. We can't make it a, a negative connotation. Mm -hmm. And I feel like oftentimes we look back into it and be like, I, I don't want to say I wanted a billion dollars because that sounds so tacky. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted a billion dollars. I wanted to. <laughs> I think we, we, we get so caught up into this conversation of trying to appease and make people feel comfortable. And I think for me to stand true to my brand, I got to be rude. Yep. So what is the rude brand? How much of that is you? Is it like 10% you, 80% the, now, the culture? Now wholeheartedly it's me. It's just the da data of my vision of what I was around. Look, I can't be in every conversation around the of world. Of course, yeah. So it's my- Or every meeting at your company. Meeting. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm one mic and yeah. I'm just here to amplify the mic on different things that I'm, uh, that I'm seeing. You yeah. know? It's what I think interested me when I was growing up. It's the things that I thought was high fashion. You also said, I, I really did a lot of homework for this. I was looking at the other quote you had that was great was, I'm the gasoline in the Ferrari. That pretty much right. sums up everything you just right. said. Right. I, I want to be the fuel. You're the, the fuel. fuel. to the fire. Yeah. Right, right. Because right. it's a constant need still. You know, when you're a car, you get updated, you mm -hmm. get changed. But I want to be the fuel. Yeah. When you look at Bali, let's go, let's go over there. Let's go across the ocean, right? Right. We go over there. That's already, a, I mean, that's a Ferrari. That's a right. vintage Ferrari. Right. Right. You know, it's right. been around. Yeah. That seems like the perfect, I mean, if I were you, I couldn't imagine a better situation than that. It's right. like, okay, well, we got an old, like, heritage brand. Sleeping. Been around forever. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. There's a lot of marketing stuff, design stuff I could pull from, you know, have some fun with. Mm -hmm. um, it's a luxury brand, brand but... It's not really yeah. talked about. It's right. kind of underground, mm -hmm. right? So the only way to go is really up. Right. Plus, they really want to work with me. Right. Let's go. You know, that's that's the thing. Like, you, we got to teach people to to not search to be wanted, but go where you're needed, you know? Go where you're needed. Were you needed there? Is that why I feel, they were I, reaching out? I felt the most that I was needed there, mm -hmm. you know, than any other of the other places. You know, I felt like that was a place where I could make a difference, where I could really look back at it and be like, wow, this is another house that I built. You know, now the story is very different because Rude is really a testament of a an immigrant kid and how he saw the the American superior power and what was the but then the American dream for myself. And, and now the, the Bali is my European dream of what the luxury <laughs> is, you know? So to me that's like those are two different things. That's why they never you know, my friends always ask, do they overlap? They don't because no. they're two different worlds that I've always imagined to have lived. You know? Yeah. And you are living that life now. And it, yeah. the other thing you said, too, is you know, like the I just want people to wear what you say, like loafers and listen to jazz. Like right. that's the vibe. Right. Is right. that who's the customer? Like what's the vibe over there? Well, the, you know, it's always high intellect with feet on the ground. You know, I okay. want my guy to listen to hip hop as he's getting ready. And if he's driving on the car like he's, you know. Nat King Cole or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the level of 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 household that I was in, and I think, you know, I think if if I don't do it, then who else will, right? I think with with kids now, we we often forget the foundational things, you know. And there's no one ushering in like or educating on things because it's so it's so the 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 consumption level is so fast mm -hmm. that we don't have time to actually read a book or listen to music that in, like entices uh knowledge right mm -hmm. so for me if they can have a kid such as myself at least amplified a bit of that then i can now encourage maybe a group of other kids that's gonna see things the way i'm seeing it you know all it is is like you got to continuously light the fire like imagine the the i always make fun of this because the first ever streetwear to me is when the person in the 1800s decided <laughs> not to wear a long tail so <laughs> that was, do you know that was streetwear, right? Like, you know that? Like, yeah. 100% that they looked at him like, that's so street. Like, and that's, that's so raw. But in the end, it's all about the intention. Yeah. You know, yeah. The intention there was that the discomfort, you know, when you don't have a conversation, you don't get anywhere. So to me, I'm having a conversation to make sure that we maintain and we keep moving forward. You know, when we talked before, too, I remember these things. You talked about one of your talents was code switching. 
Right. And you were talking about it. Like I can walk and I could talk to a group of hip hop artists this way and I can go talk to a right. bunch of old white executives this way. Right. It seems like now you're doing the same thing, except like stylistically. Right. Like I can talk to my rude crowd, my rude customer over here, but I can also go across the ocean and it's kind of a different vibe and different. But I, I can also lead that conversation over there, too. Well, the deeper I go in my career, like I learned that through sociology, that it was actually a bad thing to code switch, you know, like to be able to. Is it? That's, I think it's a good thing. But right? I questioned that when I was thinking about it. I was like, well, that's the thing. Like, I want to maximize my community. If yeah. I can't maximize my community. And you, know, you can't talk to I, everybody the same way. What good am I for if I'm only hanging out with my family? How can I tell the same story to my guys? I got to proceed. So for me, that was for me to understand what was needed there. And I keep, you know, I just keep switching. Yeah. So when you look at uh, like the clothes over there too, I was, I looked at the Bally website for like an hour. I just fell in love, man. Yeah. Especially I'm a shoe guy. Yeah. Yeah. Is, do you have to have a signature piece? And if so, it, it's, you started with the penny loafers over there, right? Was that? That was a, that was a beginning and we're still going to, uh, we're still going to roll out the rest of the collection. But mm -hmm. for me, you know, what's out now is a little bit, had a little bit of opinion to it. Okay. But my next one will be March will be the actual full collection. Okay. And look, it's not rocket science. You have to see data. And you have to see where you can make a difference. Yeah. And that's just the things that I did. And, you know, you, you give it a hint of talent and a lot of uh, analysis and you're you're on on track. You know? Does every line need a, I don't even know what you call another fashion guy, like a signature, like, you know, the most popular thing like that you're known for? I mean, when you go to restaurants, you yeah. what, what does best when you know what you're going to get? Of course, yeah. You go to a restaurant, I want a piece of steak. You're going to go somewhere where you love I'm going to go to a steak place. Right? Yeah. You want yeah. a burger, you go to a burger place. So yeah. it's, it's, that's the thing. Like, I think people need to stop taking out the human psyche out of everything. What do you mean? That, like, the human understanding of things is what's most important like just the, me saying i want a piece of steak so i'm gonna go there <laughs> let's not complicate it's right? let's not complicate things it's about someone wanting something yeah do you want pasta exactly. no i said i want steak and and when and one of my biggest mentors has told me this there's seven days in a week right mm -hmm. if you can take on two days one day of the week in your wardrobe you've now got yourself a good business where you're like constantly there's a reoccurring revenue there where someone wants to keep buying something from you on a that they need for a weekly basis yeah so we got super high end we got right. rude we got Bally, we got super high end now let's go the complete opposite way right. so now you got affordable athleisure wear at zara yeah. and when i saw that you know i keep up on this stuff right. i go is he crazy like first of all i go it's like the complete opposite i go is he trying like Volkswagen, a lot of people don't know this. You do. Volkswagen has Volkswagen. Yeah. They got Audi. Yeah. They got Lambo. Mm -hmm. Right. They got Bentley. Mm -hmm. So they got something for every income. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, is that what he's doing? Is that the plan? This is what happens when you have amazing mentors that run the world. <laughs> um, is that literally? I mean, like, hey, I I want to provide something for every wallet. Look, I want to hit my bottom line, amazing. Yeah. yeah. And, and for me, it's it's code switching. And what when I was a kid, when I saw everyone getting fly, and when I would see the amount of money that was spent for clothes, I felt so not a part of it. And now it it gave me roots to you know go thrifting, etc. I really learn and have to really you know what's that like? The best wines are when there's a dr like sort of a really dry spell because it forces the grape to to really like take extract water from the soil you know this no so all the growth fears are back actually from when it's dry because the soil has all this water and the grape has to pull from it and if i was a grape i didn't have the water sources so i had to really extract from the soil but you're right when you think about it the most successful people I, i've done this for five years sat least, down with successful people from all walks of life and none of them Almost none of them had the rich dad. The least sources. And didn't go to the country yeah. club growing up. Yeah. No, they had the dry season, like yeah. you said. And they turned that and they made a great vintage. Right. I think right. that's a great analogy, man. Right, right. Let's finish up with Coyotes. NHL. Why the NHL? Oh, you go where you're needed. <laughs> did ice need you? Go, you? Did, you did go. the Canadians need you? No, you need to have a conversation. <laughs> you, as you see the balance, we yeah. the 2000s, it was a prevalent year for football, for hockey commercials, et cetera, yeah. and, and racing F1 and NASCAR. So you can now see the curve coming in yep. when I introduced F1 to the entire culture. And as I'm seeing it, I'm like, okay, well, there's hockey coming in soon. So why don't we come in and have that conversation? So... 
Here we are. The puck is here. Nice. And I want to, so everybody check out the gear. And then finally, what people don't realize too, is they just think coyotes, but that you are working with the ownership group right. who also owns the Sahara, right? In Vegas. And I was thinking, I was like, man, is he going to inject that like Sammy Davis, Frank Sinatra, old school, cool Vegas? Or what are you up to out there? You're too smart. That's all. Oh, I just need your money. You know? Too smart. Too smart. <laughs> All right. Business is business. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see what you're yeah. doing out there. Well, man, it was a pleasure. Always Thank a you pleasure. so much, man. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, can't wait to see what you're bringing. Wait. Luigi had a run out. He had a fashion show to get to, which is way more important than this. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. New interviews every Tuesday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with the most successful entrepreneurs in the world. And if you can't watch the videos, make sure you listen to the audio podcast available on all podcast platforms. Thanks, guys.